How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here. You guys are looking at my phone right now because I have Brawlhalla on my phone. That's right. I was invited to the Brawlhalla closed beta and thank you BMG for sending me that invite. And I get to show you guys Welcome to Brawlhalla. what Brawlhalla looks like on the phone. I'm using an iPhone 11 for those of you that are wondering. Uh, I played a few games with it. And <laughs> I will say the touch touchscreen and controls do take some getting used to. Uh, this is a very early build of the game, so it's going to be a little bit buggy. Uh, it's it's far from perfect, but honestly, it's really really good uh, for 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 what it is. So um, let's go ahead and just show you guys what it looks like. So uh, the first thing is the controls. Uh, they're totally customizable. Uh, you can move around the controls wherever you want. You can change uh, what what they look like even on some of these. But I'm going to just pretty much keep them right here, I think. I'll save that and exit. All right. Let's go ahead and play a game. So the only main difference on the mobile version is that I noticed is the uh, character select screen. They actually use really good looking uh, portraits for all the characters, unlike the uh, PC version. And then, <laughs> they only let you play eight different legends. Uh, I can't get any of these other legends, even if I want to buy. You can look in the store, but if you want to buy the all legends pack, it just says coming soon. So, I don't know uh, about that. I wish they would just give us all the legends. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and try Nash. So this is what it looks like when you're selecting your skins and whatnot. They definitely made it uh, easier for the touchscreen controls. That, that much is obvious. But once you get into the game, it actually looks exactly the same as the game looks, like on any other platform. It looks exactly the same and uh, sounds exactly the same. It the only it's actually not that bad once you get used to it. I'm probably gonna play at like a gold level, if that, maybe even like silver, because I'm so not used to it. Um, but and the only other downside as well is that it takes a while to find a match sometimes because there's not that many people that actually have the beta right now. So the hardest thing for me I've found is dodging because I dodge normally on a, I use a controller, an Xbox One controller, and I dodge with right trigger, right? But there's I don't have any triggers on my phone here, so I have to dodge by pushing a button with my thumb, which I'm not used to doing. Other than that though, like the rest of it is fine. But unfortunately dodging is such a big part of the game, like and I'm dodging constantly, like even just for quick stepping like this, you know, it's, it, it's a little bit awkward for me. I think that if if oh we got our first match. I think that if if I had like you know, you can get those, uh, I don't know what they're called, but you can basically turn your phone into like a controller with shoulder buttons. I would be so much better at this game if I had the shoulder buttons. All right. I also forget how to pick up weapons sometimes, so I I don't know who we're going against. I actually didn't catch his name. But this is Brawlhalla on my phone, guys. I got it last night, and I just was my, oh my gosh, I almost got combo to death. I almost died when I saw the invite, and then when I downloaded it, I was like, I was not expecting to play Brawlhalla on my phone until maybe like next year, like, I really had no idea I'd be getting it for Christmas, so this is like the best Christmas present, being able to play this game on my phone, wherever I am, like, it's so crazy. Like, obviously it's easier playing it on anything else, but the fact that you can play it on your phone is what makes it amazing. And I think this is going to be huge for the game in general. People are going to get good at the touchscreen controls. People are also just going to be... Oh gosh, I'm going to kill myself. Gravity cancels are especially difficult for me on the phone. People are going to get good though. And as far as I know, uh, this is gonna be crossplay, like with PC people and everything. So that's gonna really up the population of players. I think right now there was like something like eh, like 1.8 million or something. Uh, I could be wrong on this, but something like that. Uh, 1.8 million players played ranked uh, this last season. Boom. 
So when Brawlhalla comes out on mobile, I would not be surprised if that number doubles or even triples. I would not be surprised at all because most people that don't have a gaming console or a Switch or, any, or a PC or anything like that, you guys could tell I'm not dodging like hardly ever. It's because it's so hard. Um, but they have phones. They have phones. And oh my goodness. Weapon throws are hard too. Nice combo there, Lin Fei. Apparently I can pick up with light attack, which normally I don't recommend, but on the phone it actually is a little bit easier to do that. There's a gravity cancel. So it's going to be really good for the game. All right. First game was a win, baby. I'm getting uh, experience, but I don't think it actually really does anything because they said uh, I'll jump into rank 1v1. See, it doesn't actually show my rank uh, here. I'll do here, I'll do random. It shows your rank after you select your character, which is kind of weird. But there it is. I, I played only a couple games and I, I won one and I lost two, I think. <laughs> I'm really bad. Oh, I got Linfei. All right. This is going to be really... I'm trying to learn cannon. I guess learning cannon and a new uh, control mechanism is going to be even harder, but maybe not. But this is going to be really great for the game, and I'm excited to see uh, BMG just trying new things, taking the game anywhere and everywhere that they can possibly put it. You know, mobile gaming is definitely the biggest market for gaming in the world by far. There's, like, something like hundreds and hundreds of millions of gaming quality phones in existence so it's gonna be really great especially because I mean look at this game do you see any other game on your phone that is anywhere near this good of a fighting game and especially like already fully crossplay on every platform I mean there's just nothing comparable that's why I think it's also going to do really well. There's literally, as far as I know, I mean, I don't, I'm not much of a mobile gamer myself. I play some games. You probably saw my on my phone uh, back in the beginning of the video. I have a couple games, but not fighting games. Like, I just never head. Oh, this is ranked too. I gotta actually try here. Don't wanna, don't wanna get stuck in tin forever, you know. Gosh, this is so difficult. It's difficult, but at the same time, it, it's not. Like, it's really smooth. It runs perfectly smooth. I have yet to have a crash as well. I've had no glitches whatsoever. Like, it feels like it could come out. Wow, what a calculated. It feels like it could be released and it would be fine. But obviously I know it's probably not ready. Um, one of the devs told me it's a very early build and and so just... Did I? I haven't killed him yet. Dang. It takes so long to kill anybody. Just because I'm so bad. Wow, that killed him! The clash killed him. My goodness. Alright, let's try the cannon. I can't do any combos to save my life. <gasps> I almost did. I almost did. Get that out of here, Val. It's the literally the best part about this, though, is that I could be anywhere. You could be on your lunch break and just be chilling in the break room playing Brawlhalla now. It's literally going to change how we consume Brawlhalla. It's no longer just something you do at home. It's something that you can play anywhere and everywhere. And if you're in the beta, I know what I'm going to be doing during my uh, family Christmas party. I'm going to be playing Brawlhalla on my phone. <laughs> because... Typically, I'm bored at those type of engagements, and uh, this is awesome. I don't know when the uh, full, like, 
beta release or the full open beta is coming out but i imagine it's probably in the month or two because this doesn't feel that bad already um also something that's pretty cool that i can talk about now is uh bmg uh just came out well not, not shouldn't say just but they came out with a partner program for like content creators artists uh people that contribute to the brawlhalla community a lot um, they came out with a program to support these people, me being one of them, and uh, I wasn't allowed to talk about it, even though I was in the program, but now I am allowed to talk about it, so. Alright, we got a, uh, a win in ranked 1v1. GG, soup, soup. Yeah, let's just do another random game here in ranked. Um, yeah, so BMG, they're they're partnering with uh, YouTubers, Twitch streamers, artists, all that kind of stuff, and they're going to be giving us uh, support uh, with community colors to give away, skin codes, uh, promotion. Like if if we have an upcoming video, they'll spotlight it for us. And I almost, yep, I died. Yep, wow, killed myself. And that, yep, touch controls, man. I love the map. The game is so good on my phone. I don't know how it's going to run. Like, obviously, I'm using an iPhone 11. This is, like, a top-of-the-line phone. I don't know how well it's going to run on, like, a cheap, like, Android or, like, an old iPhone. I'm not really sure what the minimum requirements are. I didn't look. But so far, right now, it's looking really, really, really smooth. All right, we got our next match. I'm going against Soup Soup again. This time I'm Vector. Oh man. I don't really know how to uh, do like live streams from my phone. I'm gonna have to look that up because this would be really funny to live stream. All right, I got Bo. Vector seems like he would be a really good legend to use if you're not good with the controls. Got him twice! Thrice! No, not thrice. Boom! Yeah, boy, I got him with that! Wow. First kill with Vector on mobiles with a down sig. Who would have thought? It is so strange. And yet so awesome playing this. I can't get over it. <laughs> if you guys have any questions about the... Uh, obviously, I know... Oh, man. There's a little bit of lag. That's the first time I've lagged, actually. If you guys have any questions about, like, the mobile game and, like, anything about it, let me know because I know only, I think, the first 1,000 people actually got an invite to this. So, I was very fortunate. Thank you guys for using my link. Oh, he's dead. Um, because I was able to get to like position number two or three, I think. I don't, I haven't, I didn't actually check for a while, but thank you so much for that. And, um, the reason you guys did that, I'm sure, is so that I could show you this. So thank you. Bro, I'm gonna be the first mobile diamond user. Road to diamond on my phone. It seems impossible at the moment, but in time with training, anything's possible. Especially if, like I said, if you get those phone controls with the buttons and shoulders and stuff like that, thumbstick, it would make it so much better, dude. I, I'm actually probably gonna order that. I know, I remember watching a PewDiePie video and he was sponsoring something like that, so I'm probably gonna do that. All right, guys, Um, yeah, I think I'll do one more ranked game and i will use now let's use fate i bet you guys want to see what scythe is like on the phone right scythe is really difficult on touch controls i tried fate yesterday uh, last night and it was it was rough <laughs> but we'll see how i do 
I guess it's not too bad. I, you just really got to get used to the controls. It's so weird at first. Like, I'm trying to do down, down air, and I just keep doing side air. See that? It's little fine motions like that that are hard. And honestly, those fine motions are what make you good at the game. So it's, it's a little bit frustrating. I literally feel like I'm a Brahali, Brahala newbie again. Like, I feel like I suck. And I haven't felt that way about Brawlhalla in a long time. So it's weird, it's cool, it's frustrating, but it's refreshing at the same time. Alright, I'm going against Soup. We're, apparently we're the only two people with this game right now, so... All right, Nash, that one hurt. Okay, that one hurt even more. Some orb action going on. Oh! That was like the best combo I've done on mobile. What? Yeah, get wrecked, boy, get wrecked! Please just die, Nash. You must die. Uh-oh. He got me, dude! Oh my gosh! This game is in jeopardy. I might actually lose. Is he gonna die? There we go. Finally got him. This is really hard playing Fate. I feel vastly underqualified to be playing the Scythe right now on mobile. I mean, I'm racking up the damage, but so is he. We can't even hit each other. There we go. That is such a hard combo to do on the phone for some reason. That simple side light, jump side air. Oh my goodness. No! Alright, final stocks, boys. Am I going to win? All three of my ranked games on my video. Let's go. There we go. I hit it. Game. GG, dude. GG. Player one win. Woo! And with that, I actually got higher elo than him. So what am, what am I? I think it actually shows my place. Vector. Look at that. I'm ranked 35th. <laughs> I'm 35th in the world. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, if you have any questions about Brahalla Mobile you want me to uh, go over, let me know because I really didn't go over much. Uh, or go over everything in this in the mobile version here. I haven't even really looked at everything Pretty weird man. Anyways <laughs> This is Lucian Sword Hope to see you in the next one guys. Take it easy